For this demo, we're using a subset of the Common Crawl dataset that we've uploaded to Google Cloud Storage, which is an open dataset of web crawl data. The subset we're using is approximately 3.5 terabytes of Hive Partition Parquet files. Let's begin by looking at the data layout in Google Cloud Storage. This dataset is Hive Partitioned with two partition keys, Crawl and Subset. As we can see, there are many subdirectories, all beginning with the word crawl, an equal sign, and then a name for that particular crawl. When we click into one of these directories, we see three subdirectories. Each subdirectory begins with the word subset, has an equal sign, and then a word that is the value for that subset. The directory structure is encoding the partition values. Let's click into another folder. Here we see many Parquet files. Each is on the order of several hundred megabytes. And that's stored gzipped compressed in a single directory here. So our goal with this demo is to show you how to be able to query all of this data from BigQuery. So to do that, we start by creating a table definition file. And the command being issued here indicates that the underlying data is in Parquet format, that the data is Hive partitioned, and that we are requesting automatic partition key name and type inference. So typically, we would run this and actually save it to a file, which is what's going to happen here. Then, once we have a table definition file, we can make a permanent external table. And that's what this command is showing. In this particular case, we've already created the table, so we won't run this command. So now we want to be able to query this data. So we're querying a specific partition to count the number of times Google appears as a top-level domain in the crawl, broken down by the host name. So while this runs, we can look at the results from an earlier identical query. And we can see that we've successfully queried the Parquet data in place on GCS, and that the Hive Partition columns are recognized and in the result set. And here we see that if we go back to the original tab, we have the same results. Another use case for our new support is importing Hive Partition files into BigQuery Managed Storage. This command will perform a load of a single file into a managed table while also recognizing and loading the partition columns. Now, in this particular case, I've chosen a file that happens to have the data for the Google top level domain. This is a table with the same command that was created in advance. If we look at the schema of the table, we'll see a number of fields that were picked up from the file. At the very end, we see two additional columns, crawl and subset, that have both been successfully imported. Next, we want to go ahead and issue that exact same query against this table. And because we chose a very particular file, we'll notice that we get very similar results. And that is our new functionality.